Spectral freeze is the ability while your mouse is hovered over a spectrum to pull down resonant points in that spectrum. For example, if we have a sound, hover over it, it turns purple. I could grab a node and pull it down. And we get that one node, but then all the others disappear. And you'd have to do this repeatedly. The permanent version is when you hover over it and when it turns purple, you then click and hold your mouse and it will then turn blue. When it is blue, it is now permanently frozen and you can grab many nodes and pull them down. Now it will unfreeze as soon as you click on something that isn't a node. So sometimes I accidentally unfreeze because the nodes aren't the biggest things to click on. But let me show you. So it's hovered, I'm gonna hold down my mouse now, it turns blue. Now, we can go after specific resonances. And what I'm gonna do in this case, just to do something kind of interesting, is we are going to go after mini and create sort of a comb filter. And then, I'm gonna click off. Now something kind of cool we could do with a shape like this is we, we've essentially removed a lot of the resonance characteristics from the sound. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them up a bit so that they're a lot more narrow. And this is going to be a much more subdued sound. And it can be really cool as a, if you're bringing a sound in over time as a transition, these sorts of things can be great for that. So let's go ahead and automate this over time. So I'm gonna go over to the mix control for this Q4. I'm going to create an automation clip. I'm going to make it grow over time. So it's gonna come up over time. We're going to hit at the transition, and then I'm gonna have it fade out after it's been at the transition for a little bit. For the sake of a before and after, I'm gonna go ahead and bypass it first so you can hear what it was like before the effect. So this is what it sounded like before. what it sounds like after I did make a small adjustment to the way it comes in because I like the non comb filtered version right before it reaches the climax and then we edge it off slowly afterwards it sounds like this One other thing we could do that would be kind of cool is if we took these and we made them all mid-band filters instead of stereo since we are messing with a reverb. This could be cool. You could mess with a lot of things channel-wise to create a cool stereo image with this method as well. Here's what it sounds like just on the mid-bands. So there are some ways you could use the spectral freeze function to do something interesting. We, in this case, created a comb filter and then we use that to change the stereo image. We also de-emphasized the resonance and chose to bring that in and out as a color effect. What is something else you would use the spectral freeze function for? Have you ever tried something like this? Let me know what you think down below. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.